Hey everybody, I'm gonna say something super stunning and brave. Kiro the wolf is a piece of shit. Hi, it me, Coyote Lovely. How's it going? And one thing you know about me is that I'm a YouTuber. YouTubers are kind of like Bond villains. That was a segue. And much like Bond villains, YouTubers, for the most part, are only interested in numbers and their bottom line. Much like Caro proved that he was in his recent video. But then I guess I'm the fucking idiot for expecting a man who raped animals to death to have a sense of integrity, am I right? The question is, why? Why did I come back? I always knew this was a suicide mission. I always knew a lot of people were not going to listen to me. But during those two years I was gone, I had a lot of regret at not saying anything when I left the community. I was essentially forced off, I was confused, and, and just in general, really hurt. Coming back was my way of getting to speak after all of this time. I only came back to say what I needed to say. I needed closure. I knew me coming back would get a lot of attention. And, you know, between the two videos, my goal was to get 100K. And boy, did I surpass that with flying colors. And this wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for the biggest figureheads in our community promoting those videos. I want to thank Majira and Beta for helping promote my videos. They got tons of views, and the message got out there. I wanted to have people hear my side of the story, and I also wanted to tell people to stand up for themselves and the fandom when it came to cancel culture. And with over 130,000 views and climbing, I would say I achieved my goal. So, I want to say again, thank you. For those of you who understand, like, anything, like have a basic understanding of just reality in general, Majira and Beta Ada Delota were not promoting Caro's content. Nobody was promoting Caro's content, except for Kit the Dickless. A sits back with a bucket of popcorn and watches people get mad. Oh. Anyhow, as of this video going up, I'm done. I'm done talking about the Kiro controversy, I'm done talking about anything that has to do with his case or what have you. I'm done talking to people who, quite frankly, probably should be in mental institutes instead of on the internet, because you guys have come up with some interesting ways to tell me to kill myself, from the generic as fuck telling me to hang myself, to one of you guys suggested I give myself a Tide Pod enema, and then essentially finish it off by taking an entire tank of helium, shoving it up my ass, cranking it up, and inflating myself until I explode. <laughs> well, that shit didn't last. Speaking of things that didn't last, my sanity, when Carol put this fucking fursuit head and started apologizing as his character. Now, to my fans, I know this is sad news for you to hear, and in a perfect world, I would come back and stay, but this isn't truly what makes me happy anymore. Actually, I feel like this would be better if I brought on someone else to talk. One second. Hey guys, I just want to say that I love all of you. I want to say thank you for supporting me over the years. Thank you for making me feel welcome and appreciated. What the fuck at all is this? Oh, and you guys remember Zudonym, who leaked the original logs. This was a terribly written segue. I'm lying. This is unscripted. Anyway, you remember Zudonym? Well, apparently Zudonym has come out and stated, I am retracting any previous statements of Caro not having done more in the vein of Necro slash Hard Zoo than fingering a dead fox. I was wrong. He apparently was quite prolific in producing Necro content. And holy shit, that took at least five different takes for me to say that. I'm dumb as a stump. That was all one sentence. What the fuck? No, wait, sorry, there's a period. That was two sentences. Okay. So hey, not only do we know that he likes necrophilic shit, but he's also basic as fuck because he's turned on by foxes like every other furry alive. I lied. Most other furries alive aren't turned on by necrophilic shit, so he's still a fucking degenerate. Isn't that wonderful? Wow, I'm gonna go drink. 
For those of you who noticed that this is a very different video on my end, that's because I really think I might lose my sanity if I don't change up my style and my format. Because God help me, this is something I never wanted to revisit, and I don't think anyone wanted to revisit it ever again. Please, I'm crying for help. Make it go away. Make this stop. I'm, I'm serious right now. Please, make, make this stop. I don't. Make him go away. I want him to stop. I just don't... I just don't want to fight an uphill battle where the end result makes me unhappy. This isn't me giving up on my channel, it's letting go. Of course, I think Garo isn't being totally honest considering he said this almost verbatim in 2019 on Twitter when he said he was leaving the fandom. To whom it may concern, this is my final statement. I'm leaving the fandom. It's been an honor to help brighten people's day with my videos and spread positivity. Thank you to everyone who has supported me throughout the years. I will miss you. Till the care of the wolf. And here we are, and I oop. But hey, if we're lucky, Carol will not be showing up on the internet again. I would be very happy to hear that, and I'm sure a lot of people would as well. But you know what? I don't think any of us are lucky, considering the last year that we had in 2020 and how things are shaping up in 2021. So, I think we're going to be seeing more of Carol. I really do. Um, personally, I would love it a lot if he were to just be stricken dead, but I can't have things my way. This isn't Burger King. So this was just a short little impromptu unscripted rant on Caro the Wolf to keep you all in the loop on that one, mostly because I don't have the patience or inclination to do a deep dive into this degeneracy. Uh, but like I did on my live stream the other... the other day? Last week? Last week! You know what? Who cares? I, like I did in my live stream, I'm gonna put Cecil McFly's videos in the description, uh, so that you can get more context on what Caro happened to do. Um, and, you know, thanks, thanks for everybody for watching. I'll catch you guys later.